Today we're going to be tackling a topic I get asked about a lot, and that is how to increase the storage on your Fire Stick. So increasing the storage on your Fire Stick is very, very easy to do. I'm going to show everything you everything that you need and everything step by step. What you will need is the following. An OTG cable, a USB drive or an SD card. And if you're using an SD card, you'll need a USB to SD adapter. And that's all the hardware that you need. One thing you must make sure is that your hard drive or SD card is formatted to FAT32. If it's not formatted to FAT32, then the Fire Stick will just will not recognize it. Right, so let's uh, hop onto the Fire Stick and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. Right, so here we are on a Fire Stick. Okay, there's one app that we must have and it's ES File Explorer. You may already have it and that's it there. How to get it is very, very simple. You just go into your App Store and look for ES File Explorer. ES, there we go comes up like that. Very simple to find. I bet you've all got it. Right, you don't have to worry about paying. I know this is a premium product right now, but you just don't need to pay, basically. This is all part of the free version. Now, if you look at the top, you can actually see we've got internal storage and we've also got SD card. Now, I've got 114 gig SD card and you can also plug in any sort of hard drive that is USB enabled. It has to be formatted in FAT32 though. The thing about FAT32 is the maximum file size is four gig. So that's something to bear in mind. Right, so how do we access the stuff that we've got on our SD card? Well, we go along to the left, navigate down here, and now we're looking for some sort of USB. There you go, USB 1003, mine's called. So we just uh, highlight that and click on it. There we go, and then just click on open. You only have to do this once. So I'm just going to say always allow or allow always. And here we go. So it really ignore that unexpected removal. Don't know why it's there. Uh, right. So now we just have to navigate up to what you've called it. I mean, mine's called Brantley. I've got a lot of things on here. But what you have noticed there, I'd imagine, is movies. So if I go into movies, here we go, we've got lots of movies that we can watch. If I wanted to click on one of them, I get a series of options. Real depends what media player you've got installed. If you have not got a media player installed, recommend VLC player. It's free, it's readily available on the App Store. Just do exactly the same for ES File Explorer, it's like put in VLC, this will pop up, install it. It's free and it works for any sort of file. Or you can use the other options there. ES Media Player is part of the premium package, so I do not recommend using that. It's $9.99 a month and it's a complete ripoff. So we can, other couple of options down here, we've got always and this time only. So I'm just going to put this time only. Click on that and you'll see that it plays straight away. There we go. Very, very straightforward. So if you've got a lot of movies on a USB drive, this is how you can watch them on your Fire Stick without having to go through any networking or anything like that. Now, if you've got, if you want to move things around, you can actually do that using this app. It's a bit cumbersome, but you can do it. You can also copy things as well. So if you want to download stuff onto your Fire Stick and then move it onto your SD card or your USB drive, you can do that too. You just have to find it. So say it's in your download folder, and we've got some old file link stuff here. Now if I wanted to move that folder into my USB drive, all I do is long click until I get a little tick, then you'll see some serious options at the bottom. Navigate down to them and we've got some options here. If you want to totally erase it, um, in other words, cut and paste. You can use the cut option if you want to copy, then copy it. So we'll just click on copy. And then we want to navigate to where we want to copy it to, which will be the USB drive again. Click on open, and then you want to put it in wherever you want to put it. So I just want to put it there just for ease and convenience. Click on paste. And there we go, it's now copied in. 
There it is, yeah. At the top there. So you get the idea, it's pretty straightforward. There's just one other thing that I want to mention, just in case you don't already have it. Go in, into your settings here, and I'm sure you've all got this. Um, and then you want to go along to My Fire TV, and you want to make sure your developer options, your AD debugging, and your apps from Windows sources are always on. Have them on all the time, but it's more the AD debugging. Uh, not necessarily you need for this, but um, if you want, I can actually show you how to uh, make it so that if you install something, it's actually onto a USB card. There is a few processes that you have to go through, bits of code that you have to put in. So it's not completely straightforward, but it is still very much doable. So let me know in the comment section if you want that to happen. That's it. Very easy to do and a simple solution to a common problem. I'm actually getting a little bit ahead of myself. What we have to do, I'm going to have to show you how to actually set up your Fire Stick with your OTG cable. Very, very simple to do. That's where you'd normally plug it in. So on your OTG cable, there's a similar device like that. You just plug it in. Simple as that. So then we've got one, two, three, four on this one. So you notice that one of them looks exactly the same as this here. So just plug your regular cable into here. That goes into your plug. And then we've got three USB ports. Take your thumb drive, your USB stick, plug it in. That's it. That's it. There's not much more to it. And then we just plug it into power. Start her up. So there you have it, a pretty handy little device, this OTG cable. Now, obviously it's not just for storage, you can also plug in an ethernet adapter to it as well, so that you don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. Essential for the Fire Stick, in my opinion. So if you like this video, leave a big thumbs up and I will really, really appreciate it and leave a little cheeky comment as usual. If you do leave a comment, thank you very much in advance. Look forward to the next video. Stay frosty, bye-bye.